Hello and welcome everyone. Mizuki here. Um, today I thought let's try Greedfall for the first time. Well, actually not completely the first time to be honest. I did have a peek at the first two hours or so of the game um, beforehand. But I never came to actually finish the game or play further than the first few hours. So I thought... Let's go and have a look together, shall we? We'll start a completely new game um, with a completely new character and what I really want to try and have a look for is especially the character creation because I haven't tried that one uh, the last time. So without further ado or saying too much, let's just start the game. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose! What a weird start, isn't it? We started as a man and we already replied, so we already uh, gave our character a voice and... I decided to be a woman now. <laughs> um, I mean... It's, a, it's a, a, a cool way to start the game because it's already engaging and we already have um, an impression of our character. Um, but I think it kind of ruins the immersion at the beginning when you want to try to play as, let's call it not the default character. Um, in my first playthrough, I for that, for that very reason, I picked a male character, the default male one, because it just felt fitting. Now, however, um, I really want to play it as a woman. Let's have a look at the character creation. Um, that looks okay. Oh, that looks cute. She reminds me of um, who she called Mary. The youngest sister, I think, from Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice in the 2009 adaptation. I, I think I'm gonna stay with that. That's, that makes her softer. That makes her harder. Now I think I'll just leave it like that. Mm, that's nothing too fancy, to be honest. Um, there's not too many options. That's okay. But the camera is super slow. Honestly, it, it doesn't make much fun to have a look around you when you're going that slow. Maybe I could have done something about it in the presets? I don't know. What the actual fuck? That looks awful honestly i mean as someone like me who really has awful hair i can tell you this hair this hairstyle is awful that one's pretty basic but i bet she actually has very long hair when you unfold all this bold yes please yeah, I think I'll gonna stick with this. I think that's the most, the prettiest one. You must be kidding me. I don't know. I mean, it's just like seven hairstyles, you know? But yeah, give me 100 different e eyebrows. That's kind of weird to me. Yeah, let's go. Super pale. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this. Maybe a little bit darker blonde. Do they have crazy hair colors? Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. That's a nice hair color. 
when I did this first playthrough and had a look at the game, I actually played as Warrior because, as I said, that was just default. And Warrior is kind of the default class for me. That's the most default one for me. Um, but actually, I really like magic. Thank you. So I think I'm going to be the magic class next step. So now we're going to have to pick what we really need. I think willpower and mental power is what we'll need the most as magic people. Um, and I think I want to go with increasing my power first. Because I think in, in the beginning, I'm guessing that I'll have enough um, mana or magic power anyway. Um, so I don't think that I'll need more MP magic points um, from the start. Um, we'll definitely gonna need this later on, but I think at, at the start more damage is what we'll rather need a little bit more, I'm, I'm guessing. And I think I'm gonna go with Charisma again because, I don't know, I really like to resolve quests and uh, conflicts with, um, with other things than just violence. So I think that that's gonna be a good choice. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish it! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Okay, welcome back. Um, now... Um, I want your opinion. What did you think of the sky uh, interrupting us? I think he has the weirdest face ever. When you look um, from the side, he looks kind of normal. But when you look at him up front, his mouth looks terribly weird. And that makes his whole face a little bit weird. But on the positive note, I think the voice acting is incredibly awesome. It's really, really good. I really like that. Okay, um... I don't know how to proceed here. I don't remember. I thought as soon as I enter this, the cutscene will start, but... It doesn't... Ah! Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Cut! I'm not in need of your protection! I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Okay. Uh, 
and that's what I thought is the best thing about being a mage. Um, that you can actually fight from a distance. But dodging is not that easy. No oh, okay. Nah, I don't know. Hit me in my face, my beautiful face. Okay, and um, I will bind this here um, for details. That likes like um, paralyzes my enemy for a short amount of time. That's very handy. And then we have this light. I don't know if that has any use in a fight. Defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. You already training for your new post of Legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. I think we can skip the tutorial. No. Thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the Isle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. <laughs> I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. He's annoying. But he shows some qualities. So I'm guessing that when we play a little bit longer, we might um, get to know him better and that he's actually very caring and nice. And our character already hints on that. So I'm going to be nice this time. On the contrary, I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Okay. Whoops. Um, and you have been warned right now because uh, the, especially the start of the game is a lot of dialogues and cutscenes and that's what we are in for for the first few hours and what is this have you not been taught to knock I've asked a thousand times oh it's you my dear child mother I'm sorry I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. 
But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. That camera shot, very good. Don't you think? That was very dynamic. The way the camera spinned around and put, a, uh, put us back into the position. That was really cool. Um, yeah, um, as you've seen with the mother, she's in a horrible condition. What a perfect deck game for 2020, right? A terrible illness going around. Sparing no one. But we still have this awesome view, don't we? That looks very, very nice. A little bit dark, to be honest. But looking at your... Um, at the video that I'm recording, um, it seems to be just my TV that's giving me the star vibes. I gotta um, fix that. That's really, really nice. I also like that with this mist, they limit our view, but it doesn't feel forced or anything. It feels very natural that I can't see any further because of all this mist. It's a little bit weird, though, how much smoke is everywhere. I think the smoke over there looks so dark, like there's actual fire going off there. But maybe it's just me imagining. Cut. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Okie dokie. So, welcome Kurt. And that's what I meant. Um, I, I thought that he is... He shows this affection and very... Um, I don't know. Very um, soft language sometimes. That I really think that he has a great potential. Depends on how good the writing is, of course, but I think he has great potential, so let's be nice to him, even though he is suspicious of us at the moment. I really love games where you have your own party. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. I honestly have no orientation in this game, to be honest. Um, this navigation tool up there, uh, just like in Skyrim, is of no use for me. Um, I prefer a mini-map, um, somewhere like uh, at the bottom right or something where I can actually see the city from above 
that makes it much easier for me to uh, to know where I am and how streets are connected. With this navigator up there, I feel like I'm on autopilot, just following along some arrows, and that's that's kind of bothering me. Okay, let's pay a visit to the first ambassador. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene. And I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Two things that really bother me about him. First, the way he says de Sade, so my name, is very unpleasant to me. Then, the other thing that bothers me is... I cannot really put it into words, but I feel manipulated by him. But as for now, I don't really have a reason to not trust him, so let's kind of get some information from him. First off, what is the Bridge Alliance? Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of her allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital? and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Wow, he is very convinced of the Bridge Alliance, um, but they sound very cool. Practically a nation of scientists like Espio and Tales of Asperia. That Sound, doesn't sound too bad, actually. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. 
Okay. That didn't sound as friendly, but still respectful. Let's ask him about the new island we are about to get off to, Tier D. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. Okay. That is... Mm, good information for the future. I have never seen Tier 3D yet. So I'm also very curious, but I've seen in a trailer um, a scene where um, the protagonist runs into uh, or f something like there was a forest in the background, I think, but he runs. Did he run into or out of the forest? I don't remember exactly. Anyway, and there was this child or a woman and then it transformed and there was this giant thing and I don't really remember the trailer that well now that I'm talking about it. But I remember that there was this native person and your main character was about to kill it, I think. Um, which why I thought uh, the person that was actually resembling your own character was actually the bad guy, I thought. So I'm I'm very curious about those native people on the island. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver. Whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. Yeah, like, uh, I, I know that a little bit about Temele, um, they are like the opposite. While the Bridge Alliance is a nation that is um, concentrated on science and um, developing and research and stuff like that, Timele is a very religious nation and um, they do not have a government aside from the religious um, heads, I think. Or at least that's how I understood that. Um, and I think science and religion have a lot of points where they can clash. So that actually was a very good um, thought, I think, to, to put those two sides against each other. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. Okay. Next up, let's have a visit to the other ambassador. And then we shall have a look about what we can do about this charlatan person that is uh, selling this. I have forgotten the name of the cure. Panacea? Panacea? Something like that he called it. Anyway, we'll have a look about that soon too. But first, let's go to the other ambassador. Just because it's right um, next to each other. And that way we can quickly solve the dialogues. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tier Fredi on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. 
Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Two things about that one as well. I think he's manipulating me a lot, but he, the way he talks is very smooth. You gotta admit that. I really like the way he talks. And a little side note, I love it that I'm actually sitting down for this conversation. Um, it's just a small detail, but I feel it's much more natural to sit down and talk than to stand and talk, you know? Because usually when I would talk to other people, we would be walking or sitting down. Um, I mean, of course you can talk while you're standing when there are no chairs, what else is there to do? But I think that way it, it feels very natural and very casual as well. And comfy. Okay. Let's get some informations um, from him as well. Some Something more about Temele would be very, um, very nice too, wouldn't it? Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know... Our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet, and give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. Hmm. But that means not everyone has the same opinion in there. Right. I mean, they're not... Mm, one blob of people, everyone sharing one opinion. Um, which is actually a good thing, I think, because it is important to change perspective from time to time. But when everyone shares the same opinion, I fear that there is not much perspective changing. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. 
We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Oh my god, I feel like the child of a divorced couple. How is Teleme faring on Tirfridi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. Mm, I'm very critical of him. And the whole uh, Temele thing that's going on there. I don't know. I'm very critical of that. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tier D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. Well, I don't know. I don't think that is right either, you know? I think, um... People shall be free to have their own faith and their own beliefs and opinions. Um, however, you should not fight them for their belief as long as they don't harm others. But it's hard to tell when you are not really involved. Some problems can only be understand when you're part of the problem. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Okay, so we're gonna have to um, talk with the charlatan and we have to um, find those heretics he was talking about. I would say let's start with the charlatan first because he was saying that he operates from um, the city center. So I'm guessing that shouldn't oh that should not be that as far away. Okay. Yeah, let's burn those dead bodies in the middle of the city, you know. That's not obnoxious at all. The sickness seems really, really bad when they're dying like this. I mean, look at this. This is fucking disturbing. How can they still have a war when the people are dying of this illness anyway? This... This is madness, really. Come one, come all. Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your... Citizens, I present to you... Panacea! The absolute cure of everything! Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion 
heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. The speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him, I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. You know, if he would live in our time today, he would be one of those people that go on eBay and sell masks or stuff like that for hundreds of dollars just to get his money off of the fear of other people. Disgusting. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. That sounds far too good to be true. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. <laughs> 